Hey, what's up guys? My name's Brandon Gozerar, and today we're going to be talking about stuff and things. So today I thought that I'd talk about a little Disney movie theory that's been circling around. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean little. I meant that it ties together Frozen, Tangled, The Little Mermaid, and Tarzan. Yeah. So we begin our journey in Arendelle. Hold on, you might want to get your tissue boxes ready for this because it's going to be a real tearjerker. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Disney related videos and off we go. The theory is centered around Anna and Elsa's parents, the King and Queen of Arendelle. About 10 or 15 minutes into the film, the King and Queen of Arendelle get into a ship with a destination unknown to us. All we know is that Anna has a cheerful goodbye with them and Elsa just hates to see them go. Waiting for their parents return, Anna and Elsa get the terrible news that their parents ship has capsized and they're not going to be returning home. I told you guys that this theory would be sad. I wasn't lying. About three years go by and Anna and Elsa are getting ready for Elsa's coronation ceremony. Filled with excitement about the gates finally being opened in the first time in forever, Anna bolts out the gates while singing into a crowd of people. Now, if you look very closely and don't blink your eyes, you can see Rapunzel and Eugene. They have for some reason traveled all the way from Germany to Norway to attend Elsa's coronation ceremony. Now, why would the two of them care about the ceremony? Unless the King and Queen of Arendelle were on their way to Rapunzel and Eugene's wedding ceremony. Notice how similar the three girls look to each other? Can we say cousins? So of course Rapunzel and Eugene would be at Elsa's coronation. What kind of cousin would Rapunzel be if she missed that ceremony? Not only does this theory add up geographically, but it also adds up in the grand scheme of time. Tangled was released in 2010. After the King and Queen shipwreck, we skip ahead three years, which lands perfectly at the beginning of the gates being opened of Arendelle. Guess what? Frozen was released in 2013 exactly three years after Tangled. So continuing this theory, while sailing over to Germany, the king and queen would have to have passed Denmark, which is also the coast that Ariel from The Little Mermaid calls home. While singing Part of Your World, Ariel explores a sunken ship full of who's it's and what's it's galore. Wait a second. That ship looks vaguely familiar. Could that be the ship that capsized with the king and queen on it? It makes a lot of sense. Now the last part of the theory is a bit of a stretch, but it involves Tarzan. The very opening of Tarzan shows a mother and father trying to escape with their baby from a burning shipwreck. It's pretty clear that it probably got struck by lightning and that's what caused the fire. The ship was also capsized in a storm and frozen. The family escapes, makes their way to a jungle, and builds a home and thrives until Sabor the leopard kills the mother and father, sadly. However, don't worry, as fate decides that Kala will stumble upon this human and name him Tarzan. Now, besides how heartbreaking and intense the opening of Tarzan is, did you guys notice a little something? All three ships look extremely similar to each other. Now, besides the two different animation styles and the king growing out his mustache a little bit, probably during his long journey on ship, this theory suggests that the king and queen had a very, very long paddle boat ride over to Africa. Now, like I said, I do think that the whole Tarzan theory is a bit of a stretch as much as I would love for them all to be intertwined. The only thing that helps the Tarzan theory for me is the fact that Chris Buck has directed both Frozen and Tarzan and said himself, kinda, that they are intertwined. So I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it that. Hey, at least the princess's theory is held together pretty nicely. Do you guys think that I'm missing something here? Is there more to Tarzan being related to the princesses that I'm overlooking? Please leave in the comment section below what you guys think. Also, what do you guys think about this resemblance? Or how about this one? Let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover that in another video. How cool would that be if we had at least a Frozen and Tangled crossover movie? It'd be so awesome. I'm truly hoping for something. So with that, my name's Brandon Gozrar, and I'm off to visit Anna and Elsa in their new Disney World Epcot ride, Frozen Ever After. And I'll be bringing you guys along for a Disney vlog this Friday. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Disney goodness every single Tuesday and Friday. And make sure to hit that like button if you want me to do more of these. And with that, I leave you with peace, love, unity, and respect. Bye, guys.